Hey, welcome to Electron Line, and here's a second example. Hopefully, this will make it a little bit more clear on how to graph a product of trigonometric functions. In this case, it'll be a simple function, y equals x squared, multiplied times y equals cosine of 10x. So basically, you're multiplying y equals x squared, which is this function right here. So this here is y equals x squared, with the function y equals, that's this one right here, y equals 10, uh, 10 times, oops, not 10 times, because that would be the amplitude. This would be the cosine of 10x. And notice that this is your k value that indicates how many oscillations you will have in a 2 pi section of your vertical or your horizontal axis. So in this case, you'll have 10 complete oscillations from 0 to 2 pi. Now, what happens now is that this will be the bound of your trigonometric function because you're multiplying the two as x as x squared gets big and you multiply that times the value for the cosine of x it'll of course make the oscillations bigger there as well and you have to draw the inverse or the negative portion of the y equals x squared function in other words you have to graph the y equals negative x squared function because when the trigonometric function goes negative when you multiply a negative number times a positive number you get a negative result so this will now be the bounds. So that means initially the oscillations will be very small. So you can see that here you can almost not see them. There we go. So and then you go back up here like that. And then you come down here. So that will be this. Then you come back up here. Now you notice that your oscillations begin to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So here they go down like that. And then here they go back up. And they reach that point And they reach this point right here. And then they reach this point, and you can see that as the x squared function gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the oscillations get bigger and bigger and bigger, and it goes way down there. So that's the product of the two functions. Of course, I'm not doing as good a job as a calculator would, but again, you can see that your oscillations will get bigger and bigger and bigger, because when you multiply the x squared function times the cosine of 10x, if it's a positive value, it becomes much bigger. If it's a negative value, it becomes much bigger in the negative direction like that. And of course, on the other side, you get exactly the same thing. So you'd get this and this and this and this and this on the negative side, exactly the same as you have on the positive side. And that's how you graph the product of two functions like that.